Well, the 4th of July holiday is right around the corner, and you know with that comes fireworks. But it's best to leave those to the professionals. Did you know that in the month around Independence Day, there are an average of 280 ER visits a day linked to fireworks? And the Consumer Product Safety Commission says 53% of those injuries are burns. Well, we sent John Craig out today to get some safety tips from state fire protection specialists. A sparkler in a hand can heat up to nearly 2,000 degrees and create permanently debilitating injuries. So we're just looking at the smaller handheld devices and anything that can be set on the ground and lit off. However, again, nothing that can project into the air. Skin burns, particles in the eyes, uh, to even worse where uh, clothes catch on fire. This demonstration put on by the Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services Office of Fire Prevention and Control. This one, the candle is at an angle and the shirt is cotton. The biggest thing is the safety parameters, making sure they're being used properly so you don't have to get police agencies or fire departments involved with the holiday festivities. This could be a toy or a trailing sparkler hitting some dry grass. Fire extinguisher available. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says back in 2017, nearly 13,000 people were treated in emergency rooms for injuries linked to fireworks. <laughs> Uncle Sparky, before. And after. In adults' hands only, with direction, following the directions of those packages, we can do this safely. The state put on the demonstration right here in Gilderland Center in that bracket. They say once you've fired these off, make sure you submerge them in a metal bucket of water overnight. In Gilderland Center, John Craig, News Channel 13.